This is an open range Roamer 310 BHS uh, by Highland Ridge RV here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And uh, if you're ever curious at any point to see how much one of these runs, if we have one available, right down here in the video description, if you're just on YouTube, I leave a link that says click for price and availability. That will give you the price and the availability. Um, pricing can vary based on equipment. There's some optional equipment present in this video, so the one that we have in stock might not be this exact trailer. Chances are it's not. We sell too many of these for that to really be statistically the case. So why do we sell so many of them? Well, first of all, we're a real high volume dealership. We work close with folks and we make deals happen. And I don't care where you live, we've got trucks for package deals, we have delivery, we can put this right in your driveway, your campsite, doesn't matter where you live. We make deals happen. I mean, literally coast to coast. Um, but the other thing is, this is so unique with so many best in class features, it's not even funny. Uh, it's got a not just a wider, but also taller baggage compartment there. And, um, it just gives you more room for those uh, like big lawn chairs and whatnot, easy magnetic uh, latch doors. This has double the industry standard warranty, two year bumper to hitch with first year roadside assistance, so it's got best in class warranty. Now little things like this, we've got a full nose cap, but that means we have no diamond plate. So if, there, you can see right there, you see that how modeled that is and how smooth that is? They put a layer of diamond shield on here, which is like the same stuff they put on the nose of motor homes to give them stone deflection. But it's virtually imperceptible. It still gives you that amazing aesthetic look with no physical product loss, basically. Um, these are also bigger in every respect. And at 9,130 pounds, it's not the lightest bunkhouse out there, but considering this has four slides, uh, this is absolutely not the heaviest out there. This is lighter than uh, a, a lot of smaller trailers even. Um, the, uh, so when it, what I mean by bigger, this is 100 inch wide body versus eight foot standard. So four extra inches. And before you say, well, four inches isn't that big of a deal. You need to get off a two dimensional video and get into a three dimensional trailer and feel the difference. It is a big deal. That means we've got a bigger bathroom, bigger bedroom, obviously bigger living room and bunkhouse, but to make your living space and your bunk areas even better, they also went six inches deeper on your super slides. So instead of eight foot body with three foot slides, they have um, eight foot four inch body with 42 inch slides, six, uh, three and a half feet. So this is 10 inches larger in your living room and your bunkhouse bigger than anything else in its class. So, not to mention the fact that they're minimum seven foot tall. And I say minimum because a lot of this trailer included has a, a side to side called an east-west radius on the roof for structural reasons. This also has a north-south arch to it. So it's a minimum seven foot height with uh, a couple extra inches in the living area. It's the biggest trailer in its class. Um, you know, built with better materials, you know, tongue and groove plywood flooring, tongue and groove plywood roof decking, a rubberized PVC roof membrane instead of a normal EPDM rubber. What that does for you is you do not need to treat that uh, PVC roof up there um, to maintain its warranty. It has the same warranty as everything else. You just, it requires less maintenance because it's a superior product. That does not mean you do not have to treat the um, your seals and things like that. You still have seals. You always have to take care of seals. But the membrane itself does not require any special maintenance. Uh, underneath, we have a fully enclosed, insulated, forest air heated underbelly, insulated slides, extra insulated roof. This is one of the very few truly Four Seasons capable travel trailer brands on the market. And that is because this is built exactly like the open range Roamer fifth wheels, just on one flat deck. Most brands, when they build a trailer, they scale it down. Open range builds everything the same, basically. So you see these strong arm uh, stabilizer bars here on your your sta or your um, jack legs, your stabilizer legs. Those will keep the trailer from getting uh, from rocking side to side on your campsite because the trailer is wider. You have more weight uh, farther off the axles. They wanted to keep it from feeling tipsy when people sat down. So we've got sliding uh, windows on the sides of the slide out for airflow, frameless windows on the exterior facing of the RV for good looks and rainy day airflow. Um, also, the uh, slide out boxes are all laminated and they do have walk on roofing on the slide outs, which is another key indicator of how well something's built. So you can thump on the sides of these like crazy because they're fully laminated. And if a trailer does not have laminated uh, slide walls, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad trailer. It doesn't necessarily mean it's put together poorly. It means that it very well could be. And there's no way to know without peeling off that fiberglass skin to see what they actually put under there. And 
That's what I like about laminated slide walls. I know, I know how that thing's put together. I can thump on it, I can feel it, I know it's solid and insulated. LED tail lights for safety and longevity, not to mention just ease of use. And these are aluminum screw trim uh, on your corners. They don't use uh, plastic. Plastic shrinks and expands too much in the sun, uh, for their liking anyway. It's it's okay, a plastic screw trim's not gonna kill your trailer, but um, it's going to be more prone to weather failure than that aluminum. It's going to hold its shape. And I don't remember a single open range we've sold that had something like a corner seam failure in all the years we've been selling them. Just doesn't happen. Their AccuSlide uh, system keeps the slide boxes square. It also keeps the slide outs lighter, stronger. Uh, you know, again, less maintenance there. This is another one of these reasons right here. Uh, they're able to cold rate this uh, RV is that your uh, some of your hookups back here are fully enclosed, so that you know they're in away from the weather. That's a really neat thing. Now. This is a big bunkhouse, you gotta feed a lot of people, so they give you the opportunity to do that with this big full-size outside kitchen here. And theirs, like everything else Open Range does, is dressed up a level above most folks. We've got good cabinet space, we've got a microwave out here, which is something very few outside kitchens seem to have. Even in the outside kitchen, we've got nice hidden hinge drawers so that you just have a sleek, seamless look. Um, Little cooktop back here. You got a propane quick connect down there for it. All the drawers inside and out are fully plywood box constructed on ball bearing glides so that you just have that nice smooth action and easy access. This does connect to hot and cold water. They give you the perfect little stowaway phone pocket up there too. Oops, let me get the camera where you can see it. Now uh, the uh, little outside fridge right here, that is the larger fridge, a lot larger mini fridge if that makes any sense. And uh, what that'll let you do there is uh, take your cooking outside, keep your maybe your drinks out here, your food inside. And because this trailer is so much taller, even with a hat on, 6'3 with my shoes on, it's the perfect sunshade and you're just, you're never gonna run into headroom issues in here. Um, your awning is a nice power awning, so you, you know, you push button, you get patio shade. But if you look real close, you see that shiny skin on it? That's not the awning itself, that's a flex fabric wrap that keeps the awning protected from the worst that the weather can throw at it, and it just massively extends the lifespan of the trailer, now, uh, of the awning, rather. Uh, if you look up here, you see that these have max air covers over the bathroom vents. Um, that is so that you can uh, keep the air running even when it's raining outside a little bit. And what I like about that is it's done from the factory level. The factory warranty guarantees that. You don't have to worry about um, a tech somewhere screwing something into your factory constructed roofing that the factory could say they did it wrong so our warranty is not going to cover it. You need to call your dealer. Not, not even a concern now. It's done. It's there. Um, I think I mentioned, I'm pretty sure I did. If not, I want to double check. This does have a two year bumper to hitch warranty with first year roadside assistance. That is a big deal. Even their entry doors on open ranges are a little different. They don't do a separate screen door. They have a sliding screen panel in here, but that is a pull down shade that you can use to cover that up if you don't want uh, you know, nosy neighbors or anything. Although with the UV tinted windows that they have, um, you know, that's really not gonna be a problem. And actually, that's another thing to talk about. People take that for granted. Um, UV tint on the windows. I, you guys can't feel it because you're just on a video, but it's hot outside today. It's really hot. It's really muggy, oppressively so. This trailer is at least 10 degrees cooler inside than the ambient outside temperature because these windows are UV tinted. They're blocking 80% of that solar radiation and they're not letting this trailer become a greenhouse so you're not cooking. Um, I don't know if you uh, noticed here, but uh, right when you walk in, you've just got one switch lighting convenience, and look at the difference that makes, the way it sparks everything to life in here. Now, they use a lot of lights, and they use good quality lights, because again, you have a lot of cubic foot of interior space. Taller, wider body, wider slides. That means you've got a lot more to illuminate. I don't have any spotlights on in the slide out. This is just the main cabin lights, and it's very comfortable in here. So, I don't remember the, remember how I said that uh, this could look different than the one we have in stock. I don't remember the name of this decor. Um, I want to call it saddle, but I've already seen like eight trailers today and they're just blending together on me. So uh, again, if you like everything in this except the fabrics, chances are we got a different one in stock for you. Don't worry about that. Um, so let's start here in the 42 inch extra deep slide out. 
Um, this is a wraparound party couch. And normally you've seen things like this in like fifth wheel toy haulers, but you're starting to see it in towable or, or, or uh, travel trailers now. And I absolutely love it because it can be and become or do any single thing you want it to be. You can leave it wide open to use it like a lounge. The middle section's a hide-a-bed. There is storage underneath of it. You see how you have individual removable tables. There's another one that can hook in the floor over here. So those tables, you can have two dinettes, a single dinette and a sofa set up like you see in most trailers. Both sides of this giant lounge pull out with giant storage areas, which is the perfect place to put these tables that we're looking at right now. So you have storage, storage, seating all the way around, uh, one or two or zero dinette areas, whatever you want. And because the slides are deeper and the wall is taller, they could use a taller slide out to give us good overhead storage all the way across. That's not a new thing by any stretch. RVs have done that for years, except manufacturers have started to get away from putting storage above the seating in slide outs because they're trying to save little bits of money here and there where they can be, and they also want to give you big windows. Well, you can still get big windows in an open range and storage. You don't have to settle. And notice that these uh, cabinets here are all self-supporting doors. They've got little struts on them, so you don't need to hold them open or juggle them open with your head. Uh, let me back up here and just tell me, uh, <laughs> Uh, how, how many other trailers can give you just a giant, beautiful, expansive view of the living room like this? Again, wider body, taller ceiling, deeper slide out gives you just way more living space. Let's look at the kitchen over here because if there's one thing open range does better than anybody, there's a lot of things they do better than anybody, but if there's one thing, it is the kitchen. They have some of the best appointed laid out kitchens I've seen. In the Romer series, everything's going to be Corian countertops in your kitchen area. This island is awesome. Now, this slide is super deep right here. So what I like is even when you have the tables out, even with that drawer out, you can still access the whole RV. That wide body makes a difference. Corian countertops give you that nice, shiny, high-class look that you know identifies what we're looking at here. Um, we've got a, a recessed stainless sink with uh, you know your, your matching um, Corian covers. Everything on this is just seamless and awesome. Little sprayer type faucet. We've got monster storage over here. Now this storage is all in the slide out. It's off the floor plan. And because it's in the slide, we actually have walk around space here. Little uh, power outlets also for your kitchen appliances all over the place. More storage in the slide out off the floor plan. But this is up and easily accessible. I like that their microwave is not 10 feet high in this too. A lot of brands put their microwaves up way too high. Um, just all kinds of good space. Now, even little stuff like this. Open Range will put drawers where most manufacturers won't. Big pots and pans drawer under the stove, for instance. A lot of brands won't do that. Uh, eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer, which in this class is virtually standard nowadays, but I do still like to mention that because a lot of people are upgrading from a standard uh, RV fridge, which is six cubic feet, so every ounce counts, you know. A uh, nice pantry here in the slide out as well because we don't have enough storage yet. That actually goes all the way down to the floor. And then we have additional storage space, and that's what I meant, you know, they have just some of the very best kitchens at open range. Now, um, something that I do want to point out here is in the kitchen we have two things going on. We have a power ceiling vent fan to exhaust heat while you're cooking and a kitchen skylight just to help illuminate it in here and, and open it up and brighten it up a little bit. Um, let's go back to the bunkhouse real quick. So, little detail stuff too. You see that little door stopper? That's so that this door doesn't jackhammer against the wall. You know, you're just the extra little stuff. That thing might cost 35 cents, but it might keep you from breaking the glass panel in this door. That matters. Just like the living room, you walk in the bunkhouse, one switch lighting. Every room has a one switch light. You take that for granted because you have it in your home, but you don't walk around your home flicking on individual light switches on the ceiling. You know, open range makes you not have to do that here. Now, uh, the, the room lit up nicely with just the ceiling lights, but each bunk has at least one, if not two additional lights. This You can light it up like a Christmas tree back here. So this is uh, the, um, the ultimate, what is it called? The party room package. There it is, party room package. So what that does is it converts this lower bunk into a full true dinette. Um, so the table can be removed. It can fold down into a sleeper. They give you easy access to the storage and notice how everything's aluminum framed. Again, this is not a small trailer, but it's not nearly as heavy as it could be. Um, the uh, top bunk folds up during the day to give you like a, a more of a rear living room, essentially. You can throw your entertainment stuff against the wall over here. You see that there's room there for like a 32 inch flat screen. 
And this is one of the rooms where that extra interior height and width makes all the difference. And remember, wider here, taller there, and deeper there. It all, it just, I, I keep mentioning that because it all matters. This is a 50% wider big kid bunk, so uh, you know you don't uh, have to just throw the little kids up there. And um, the big kids will do good here because they can easily skip right up to that top bunk anyway. This is the other thing the party room package does for us, is instead of just a bunk here, it thickens up the cushions and gives us the back cushions so that this can be a daytime sofa. You can always toss the cushions on the floor at nighttime. And we're gaining a little bit of storage under the sofa here. There's two of these nice full extension drawers there as well. Speaking of storage, Storage. Something bunkhouses are just known for is all kinds of storage, right? Yeah, that's a joke. If, by the way, for those who don't go camping, who, for those who are seeing this for the first time, bunkhouses have almost no storage most of the time. So when I saw that this one had its own dedicated hanging closet with like a nice little shoe box or hat box down here, I was really excited because that's a nice feature. Moving forward, just give you a quick panoramic view. We've already talked about most of the things in the living room, uh, but the uh, entertainment center over there, let's look at that real quick. Um, Actually, before I do, while I'm looking up, it reminded me. Air systems. So instead of uh, just a single ducted air, notice that you have two AC runs here. Uh, it's actually racetrack ducted. It loops around. It doesn't dead end terminate. That means that you have better air flow. You get uh, superior cooling. It won't get colder in here. It'll get cooler faster, and it'll maintain that temp more easily. That's the open range difference. They just do those little things that other people don't like the extra outlets on the sides of the island, you know? Entertainment, that's what we were going for. Um, all Furion. Furion's the most rugged and highly tested electronics uh, used in the RV market and marine industry currently. Um, they are shake tested, heat tested, cold tested, just just beaten and bruised, and they come out, uh, you know, with passing colors. And because it's all Furion, it all talks to one another. So you toss a disc in here, it plays on the TV. You don't have to find your remote. Um, you know, you've got a Bluetooth soundbar for your how, our indoor entertainment system. That is a Bluetooth stereo for your outdoor entertainment system. You have true dual zone entertainment with this setup. That's a rare thing in the RV business. Another rare thing is having a nice little coat closet right when you walk in the door, a place to hang a jacket. I love, love, love that. They, you cannot do enough of that in this business. Um, again, detail stuff like a little door stopper, you know, so you're not going to bash a hole in your wall. And again, th those little, um, you know, stoppers down here. I'm going to kick this on real quick. A little bedroom light. We'll get back to that. But our, our bathroom, uh, you know what? Because we have a big skylight above the shower and a power vent right there, you don't really need to kick on the lights. But it's only one switch away if you do, and look at the difference it makes. So that's a bigger sink. That's an actual adult size sink that a real person can put their hands in. Um, the uh, shower here is, uh, what is it, like a th uh, 30 inch or something like that? 32 inch, 34 inch radius shower. Fifth wheel shower in a travel trailer is what I'm getting at, in a bunkhouse no less. And again, 6'3", plus a hat, wearing boots. And I'm not even close to putting my head in the bubble of this because these are extra tall. This is one of my favorite parts of open ranges. I've got a funny thing where I don't like to duck in showers. I'm just, it just annoys me. It just annoys me. Now I don't have to, you know. Nice little linen cabinet here as well. Never offends anybody. Porcelain foot flush stool, just nicer materials. And notice that we have a dual entry bathroom. You can get to it from either side. So what we're looking at here is a true queen. It's a uh, 80 inch long um, 60 inch wide residential size queen bed pillow top very comfy um, Open range is one of the few brands. I've seen people say I don't think I need to worry about replacing my bed and Easy access under bed storage. You see with one hand that lifts right up and again all you know shaped plywood here It's all routed on the edges so that it's nice and smooth. You don't have that corner. That's going to dig your leg open uh, Big storage down here as well as awesome So you can just really throw some big stuff in here if you need to um top here we've got a tv hookup area if you want to throw a flat screen in the bedroom you can a lot of people don't but it's there these are also all 50 amp service so if you do want to add a second ac you can that vent is prepped for one they, this is open up here and you see that wire hanging down so that if you want to put in a uh like a dvd system uh or a, like a what am i want to say satellite like blu-ray or something like that um, you can put those devices up here because obviously you don't have a lot of shelf space in your living room entertainment center. 
but this is a high class trailer and sometimes you still want high class entertainment. So they give you a whole house hookup right there above the bed. Um, it's, you know, a lot of people don't use the storage directly above the bed because they don't want to climb on stuff. So this is a great one time drop it in and forget it kind of thing. Good all the way around overhead storage. Now remember wider body means more room to walk around the bed, case in point, take a look at that. Uh, you know, your bedside CPAP stands. And we also have a huge closet slide out over here. So this is all hanging storage space. This is slide number four in the trailer. Um, and they even include extra dresser space in here with additional drawers. Again, storage is a, not a problem we ever have with open range RVs. They really, really do that better than just about anybody. But they do a lot of things better than just about anybody. This is not the cheap option on the market, guys. This is the exclusive premier elite level, whatever phrasing you want to apply to it. That's who Open Range is. Um, and they're very exclusive with their dealerships. It's it, We're really proud to be able to offer these here. What I like about them is that I, I don't believe in the perfect trailer, okay? I'm one of these guys, I'm, I'm very realistic, I'm down to earth, I'm not pessimistic, I'm realistic. I know that these things are built by human hands. That's why they have a warranty, because there is a potential for something to wiggle loose. I have not seen any manufacturer back their product better than open range. And that, to me, as a dealer, as a guy who goes camping, is the most critical part of this trailer. Not that it looks fancy, not that I can tell you about fancy widgets and whiz bangs, but the fact that it stays put together and they get it uh, back on the road sooner than later. That's what I like about these. So give us a call, learn more. 800-256-5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.